to the war in Ukraine and deadly missile strikes hitting the hometown of President Zelensky. The attack follows Ukrainian drone strikes in Moscow for the third time in a week. Ian Panel is on the ground in Ukraine with the very latest. Ian, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Wish. We're in President Zelensky's hometown at the site of a Russian attack just a few hours ago. As you can see, it isn't a military target, but a residential apartment block. It was struck early this morning where many people were still inside. We know that a number of people have been killed and over 40 have been injured, including a number of children. The attack here happens just one day after that dramatic drone strike on Moscow on Sunday. Videos circulating online showing the moment that one UAV exploded at an office used by the Russian government. It was the third such strike on Moscow region in the last week alone. Russia blaming Ukraine. President Zelensky simply saying gradually the war is returning to the territory of Russia. And here on the battlefield inside Ukraine, more advances for the Ukrainian armed forces. And perhaps a sign that Russia is starting to feel the pressure. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev repeating threats about using a nuclear weapon if Kyiv's counteroffensive is successful. Wits? Another major concern there, Ian. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.